Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. And today I will be reviewing the Beats Fit Pro wireless earbuds. Now I must admit, I was a late adapter to wireless headphone technology. I have always preferred earbuds over headphones just due to their small form factor. And now with the switch to wireless, uh, I've been hesitant to buy expensive ones due to the fear of one falling out of my ear because there's no wires holding them together. In fact, I've already lost two pairs, although much cheaper, uh, wireless earbuds in the past. And that's where the design of the Beats Fit Pro come in. Although not the first to use this design, these earbuds come with the wingtip that's supposed to help the earbud stay in your ear. And with a name like Beats Fit Pro, this feature is clearly very important. Currently, Best Buy has these priced at $179.99 in the US. So they are more on the expensive side of earbuds. They're pretty nice, I think. Uh, they feel a bit beefier and clunkier than the Apple AirPods Pro, if you've ever tried them. And the carrying case feels clunkier and bigger. I have the gray color, however, they come in a myriad of colors. So I'm sure you could probably find one that suits your style. The materials they use are just like plastic and rubber. Doesn't feel the most high quality. In fact, I think if some kind of pressure was applied to these, like if you sat on these by accident, they could break and that goes for the case as well. The case to me feels particularly flimsy, especially the top portion of the case. I don't know, it just doesn't feel premium at all. If you're paying 200 for a pair of earbuds, I would want the case to at least feel a bit stronger. These charge with USB-C and there's a charging port on the back. Besides that, they have a connectivity button located on the inside. Overall, pairing these with my Android and Windows devices has been very easy. All you have to do is hold down the connectivity button and it should show up on your Bluetooth devices. There's also an additional app you can download on Android and iOS. However, I couldn't find one for Windows. I'm not sure if it's on the Mac and I will talk about the app a bit later. Now for the sound, these sound great to me. Now that I've gotten to use the Apple AirPods Pro, I would say the sound is about the same, which makes sense since Apple owns both these companies. The bass sounds nice. Just make sure that they're tucked properly in your ear. Cool thing about the app, there's actually a test you could run that checks if you have them properly inserted. Now a proper fit is also going to be very important. You want to have a snug fit in the ear if you want the best noise cancellation. Now the noise cancellation isn't the most intense in my opinion. Even with the noise cancellation turned off, these do a pretty good job of blocking out outside noises. So you don't always have to have the noise cancellation turned on. You could also turn it off or turn on a transparency mode, which actually makes everything sound a bit louder on the outside. And that's good for situations where you need to hear what's going on around you. For controls, each earbud has a button a physical button that you have to press down. Now overall, they're pretty easy to press, but I find that you have to apply a little bit more pressure than I would have liked, uh, especially with these types of earbuds. Pressing them kind of makes them go into your ear. Best thing to do is kind of press them with an upwards motion so they don't go all the way into your ear. However, I much prefer touch controls. Also, when there is a physical button like this, it just creates more opportunity for something to fail or break, which is why, again, I prefer the touch controls. With the buttons, you have control over playing media, changing tracks, and toggling between noise cancellation and transparency mode. You can go into the app and reassign some of the functions for example, instead of noise cancellation, you can set the buttons to change the volume. However, you can't have the buttons control both the volume and noise cancellation at the same time. You have to either pick one or the other, which is kind of a downside because on the Apple AirPods, because of the way the touch controls are, you can actually control both the volume and the noise cancellation. But again, that all depends on what's important to you. Now, as far as using these for exercise, like the name suggests, I use these 
going for a walk and they stayed in my ear pretty snugly. That wingtip design does really help it. Um, I never did any like really hardcore physical exercise with these, so I'm not sure how well they would stay in your ear with that. However, in my experience, I didn't notice them coming loose or anything like that. Battery life is also pretty good. On the website, Beat says that these can go for six hours with an additional 18 hours of charge in the case itself. And even though I didn't time my use or anything, I used these pretty much all day at work for eight hours and they lasted me the whole day. Although I don't use them for that whole time, I do put them away every now and then. Yeah, I have no complaints about the battery life. They worked very well. Yeah, overall my experience with these has been pretty good. I would like to see some improvements like better materials and better control functionality and hopefully the move towards touch controls. I don't know if other versions of the Beats earbuds have this. However, if you're willing to pay almost $200 and you want good quality sound, decent noise cancellation, and something that you can use while you're exercising, then I think these will definitely be a worthy purchase. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if it helped you out. Subscribe to my channel if you're into these types of videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.